It's vegan recipes with Pat and Emily. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making vegetable soup, so I'd like you to come along with me and make it. The reason I like this recipe so much is that it turns out exactly the same every single time. I have my recipe here and I know that it's going to taste the same every time. I know the exact right amount of ingredients and every now and then I want to do that. I don't want to just dump everything together and then have to taste it and figure out what it needs. This soup turns out great every single time. And another thing that's really awesome, one pot only. We're going to start by putting three-fourths cup of water in a pot along with a fourth of a cup of barley. Bring it up to a boil, put a lid on it, turn the heat down, and let it simmer. While the barley is cooking, and it's going to take about 45 minutes, I'm going to be chopping the rest of the vegetables that go into this soup. All of the vegetables are ready, and I have my Knorr vegetable bouillon cubes open. While the barley was cooking, the water was running low, so I added a little bit. Watch yours as well. Now it's time to add the bouillon cubes, the tomatoes. I'm using two cans of diced tomatoes in their own juice that have basil, barley, and oregano added to them. Now I'm adding two and a half cups of water. I'll bring this up to a boil and add some remaining ingredients. The chopped vegetables have been added. Now it's time to add a 12 ounce bag of this type of mixed vegetables that were frozen. Give it a little stir. Put a lid on it, bring it up to a boil, and then reduce it and simmer for about 30 minutes. At that time, if everything's cooked all the way through and to your liking, add the kidney beans. Remember to add the bay leaf while it's cooking. The soup is finished cooking. Before adding the kidney beans, I also add some of this better than bouillon Italian herb. It really just adds a nice little kick to that soup. And if you really like hot things, of course, you can add cayenne pepper. There's the kidney beans, and the tomato juice could be optional for you, but I like my soup a little brothier than that. And I don't cook it with the tomato juice because I just want to add broth at the very end. Oh, the bay leaf came up, so I'm going to take that out. And you can see what a lovely soup this is. It's really very much like a minestrone. Okay. This is the finished soup. I'm going to taste it for you. It's got a warm, satisfying taste. I love having the barley and the kidney beans in there with some tomatoes. Just a really yummy, yummy soup. Please stop by next week. Of course, we appreciate you liking and sharing these videos. God bless you and peace be with you.